Well, hello everyone. Welcome to our art video. I'm Meryl Hall, and I'm so glad to be here to share an art idea with you. I'm just gonna take my mask off and, oh, well, today uh, we're gonna be celebrating Family Day, and I thought we'd work on a painting that is all to do with owls and their character. And we're gonna think about the character in our family and maybe put a little bit of that character into our painting. Here we go. I brought some, uh, some examples of paintings and drawings. As you can see, I love to draw owls. In fact, I love to draw a lot of things, but I just made a little poster up and what do we see about these owls? They all have great expressive eyes and that's gonna be a lot of fun for us. Well, on our supply list, we, of course, we want a, a nice piece of paper. I've taken my paper. It's not actually watercolor paper, but it's a good thick paper from this drawing pad. You can get an idea that it's, it's got a little bit of weight to it. And I taped it onto a, a board. So my size, I'm working with 11 by 14. Uh, well, with pencil, pencil crayons, pastels, watercolors, all the things that you probably like to use for arts and crafts. A little bit of masking tape, our brushes. Ideally, we want a nice juicy brush and maybe one with a good point. Watercolor brushes work best when they have a little bit of spring to them. Um, also going to use some salt for a little bit of fun to make the paint cling to it and some permanent markers to finish things off. Well, you could think, gosh, I've got this, this uh, blank page, where do I start? Well, I just start making some egg shapes. I'm gonna bake little rounds. You can see I'm uh, not pressing very hard because this is just a sketch that we're working on and we want to uh, make sure that we don't get too carried away with dark lines or it might spoil the effects of the paint. This just gives us a little idea of the placement of how we're gonna put things together. You can see uh, it's coming together and it looks like I have a family of four owls. I've never actually seen four owls on a branch. So this is just a little bit of a fantasy for me, thinking about this. Sometimes in nature, if we're lucky, we see an owl, just one maybe two all right i'm going to put my family on a branch hmm. here we go and just because it's a happy loving family my branches have leaves that look like hearts they're fun and easy to draw aren't they will do nicely. I think we've got enough detail there. Let's see, the big owl, he's got his arm, his wing outstretched, and I might make a moon right here. That's gonna be nice. Okay, that's probably, let's see, just a little bit of detail in their faces. For the beak, I like to do a diamond shape. There's all kinds of shapes you could make. When I look at my examples, I haven't always used a diamond, but something that tapers into a point usually works well. You see I'm using a white crayon, but if any color would be good. I think I might switch over. I've got these fun crayons here. 
they dial different shades. Depends how you hold the crown. It's going along pretty good. Our, I hope we're all having it fun. I am. There. There we go. A little bit of detail here. Just a nice little wave with our branch. It doesn't have to be straight. It's kind of nice if it's not straight. There we go. Oh, keep having fun. Maybe try some other colors. Remember, we're just doing a little outline and this is going to stop the paint from flowing from one thing into another. It also gives us a chance to put a little bit of detail in. Yeah, that's coming along nice. I think the rest of it, I might just put, use some white. Okay, let's have a look at our paint. We've got watercolor paints, and there's so many different kinds of watercolor paints. Here we go. You might have a set that looks like this. That would be great. Look at all the colors we have to choose from. The first thing I do with this set is, I would just spray it down with some water. I just put water into a, a spray bottle, and it gets my paints ready. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the background. I'm gonna put um, something, I don't want it to look too dark. And we can always make it a little more dark after we've put one, one color down, we could add some more color. So I'm gonna start with my juicy brush. This is a nice thick brush and notice how it bounces back. That's a perfect brush to use for watercolor brush wet and let's see what color we can use mm. that looks nice yes I like the look of this I might add another another color with this just for fun let's have a look I've got a color here that I kind of like I'm gonna drop that in I'm gonna drop a little bit of dark right near this side Oh, that's giving it a little bit of mystery. I think that's going to dry up really nice. This color, now this is a fun color. What if we put a little bit of that in here and there? A little bit of teal. I like teal. right to the bottom of the page. Yeah. I don't think I put any wax around here, but that's okay. I might just lightly go, just like that. You see, I'm putting water with hardly any color, and I'm gonna drop some color right into it. This is a different kind of painting technique. It's quite fun. Now, how are we doing here? Well, we've got quite a bit of color on here. I'm gonna put some of this fun color on, just to vary it. Now, while you're at home, you have time. You could walk away from this and let it dry because it's no use working on here when this is all wet. It'll just end up being quite messy. So to speed things up, I'm gonna use a hairdryer. You might like to do that too. 
let's see. So here's where the fun comes with the salt. I'm going to put a bit of salt here and there where it's quite wet. Let's see what that does. Yeah, I like that. I think that's going to pull, it, pull the paint towards the salt and let it dry in little bubbles. It'll be fun. Now, it only works with salt. Don't try sugar. Here we go. I've got my, my hair dryer at the ready. And I'm going to quickly dry this and we'll see what happens. Oh, we're almost there. It's not really, really dry, but it's almost dry. And it's dry enough to continue with. I'm not going to take the salt off just yet, but you can see how it's already forming some interesting textures on our paper. All right, now we're going to think, what, uh, what color shall we make our owls and how are we going to get the detail in here? might be time for me to change it into my switch out and start using my tiny brush so I can get more detail. <laughs> and make these eyes really big, they're going to be fun. Oh, I wish I could see how yours is coming along. It'll be so much fun. Now, you notice I try not to touch the paper too much. Sometimes the oil in your hands makes the paint not stick to the paper. So I try and keep my hand just a little bit away from the paper. And if you find that your hand doesn't feel steady enough to use little fine strokes, just put rest just the tip of your little finger just to steady your hand. That's a good tip. I think we're, we're coming up together with a happy looking family. Now be careful not to touch any part that's wet or you'll smudge. There, and it just takes as long as it takes, as long as you're having fun and you're happy with it. So I wonder what other things you'll be doing on family day. Perhaps you'll have a nice meal together. Try something new perhaps, or maybe an old favorite. See how I went over some of those little dots and I used just a light color over top very quickly and didn't press very hard and it just softens it, lets it fuse. Let's see how we're doing here. All these lovely faint colors and they're all coming together nicely. Yeah, 
don't worry too much. We'll be able to finish this off with some finishing touches with a, a marker when things dry up a bit. And yeah, it's coming together nicely. All right, I think we're ready to switch over to another medium. I brought some pastels with me. I've got chalk pastels and I've got oil pastels. You could use either one. I'm going to use some oil pastels. Mm, yes. Make that, that beak really stand out. On this, I am pushing a little hard. Yeah, I want the color to really show up. I'll do the same color for for this one. Oh yes, I'm liking that. Okay, now for some detail in the eyes. I think we'll make these little sleepy eyes. You notice I'm having so much fun with the color making it very bright and jolly. And I'm not getting too worried about it. If I put a color down that I think, oh, that doesn't look quite right, or it looks a bit too bright, I just put it somewhere else in the painting and then it all balances out. Just to make them look a little softer looking. Oh yeah, that's fun. I feel like the salt should come off. Let's have a look how this, this worked. Oh, I like the way it's affected the paint right here. You can see how it's gathered the paint pigment together and given a different texture to the paint. Oh yeah, that's a lot of fun. together. We're getting close to finishing. Hmm. It's always good to take a little time to have a look and decide, make an assessment. Where am I going? Hmm. to 
find some of those leaves. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see what your owls look like. And the thing that I said from the beginning that I really like about owls are their eyes, how expressive they are. So we're gonna try and work on that now. So I've brought some Sharpie markers, permanent ink, so that if we did get any water on here, the black would not wash off. So most people have Sharpies. Uh, a fine point or a, a regular tip would be good. Let's see. Yeah, I don't want to outline everything, but I will uh, emphasize things with, with the black. Oh yes, that's the way to do it. Oh yeah, she's got some character now. Boy, I like that. Yeah, what I was going to say is it doesn't have to be black. Black is, you know, usually pretty standard, but sometimes we can use other colors to highlight. Let's see, we might make... This is certainly easier than paint, putting the marker on. There, I think I will make a few rows of dots here along her chest. That's a nice decoration. Let's see what else we have. This owl looks a bit worried, doesn't he? Look at all those lines I'm making around his eyes. Oh yeah, that's fun. like I think this must be the mom I think she needs a little bit more work here So good, good to know when to quit, or you could spoil it by putting too much on. But I think I could still go ahead and do more detail. But right now, I'm going to say, I'm going to leave it for you to finish off and say, happy family day. I hope you had a lot of fun. Great to see you. And now, I hope I get to see some of your work. And if you're able to, send it over to the Arts Council. It's Arts NW. Thanks, everyone. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.